Did you know that zero, algebra, and algorithms, things at the core of modern math and computing, didn't originate in the West? They were gifts from Arab civilization. Astronomy as we know it? That too. Even the words we use every day, cipher, zenith, nadir, admiral, apricot, and yes, sugar, are all rooted in Arabic. But despite these profound contributions, we've somehow written the Arab world out of our history books. Take gravity, the concept that all objects exert gravitational force, an Arab scholar named Ibn al-Haytham from Iraq theorized this 600 years before Newton's apple hit the ground. He didn't stop there. He outlined the first scientific method, centuries before Europe embraced it. He formulated Newton's first law of motion, six centuries before Newton, and Kepler's law, five centuries ahead of Kepler. Optics? He's the guy who figured out how lenses work. And yes, he built the world's first camera, the Camera Obscura. He discovered that light could split into colors, that it traveled in waves, and even had a finite speed. Ibn al-Haytham wrote over 200 books, mostly on mathematics. And let's not forget Ibn Sina, the Persian genius who founded modern medicine. He's the reason we understand disease transmission and why washing our hands actually works. So next time you hear about the scientific revolution, remember, it didn't start in Europe. It started centuries earlier, in the minds of the Arab and Persian scholars who lit the spark.